Okay, this is the Saturn where the door wasn't opening that I got from Yahoo Japan through Bai. If you're a regular subscriber, you should know this by now. To open the Saturn up, five screws, one, two, three, four, five. And again, if you're a regular viewer, you know I like to do this. You can actually keep track of where the actual screw was. And if you remember, this one has a CD inside and this door button is not opening the door. These other buttons though, feels good. So I have some Konami baseball game. The reason it's not opening is because this is cracked off right here. So part of the uh, hinge assembly is cracked. You can see this part of the door lid has to be held down by this cracked plastic piece. And unfortunately that piece is not in here. Now let's just see if this powers up. Some quick notes, this is a 64 pin Saturn. As you can see the 64 pin IC on the laser board. And this one, the spindle is crooked and it's pushed down a little bit. We have to fix that before we can uh, obviously test out a CD. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to fix the spindle. Um, it may be repairable. I got the spindle reassembled here in my clamp. The shaft actually broke off from the upper part. I'm gonna use some hot glue um, as a temporary measure. The glue has cooled sufficiently and we'll see if the laser is still good. The height of this has to be adjusted perfectly. You can tell the proper height as this part of the spindle will sit about a millimeter above the CD uh, pickup cover. You can see this has been previously opened because the, the tape has been lifted off of the ribbon and folded back. Put this tape on for a temporary measure so it doesn't hit the CD. Okay, let's test this out. The whole motor assembly is not moving up. And the door switch is held down. I may need to get one of my 64 pin uh, known working CD assemblies and test this out to see if everything else is working. Doing that, I can isolate the whole CD board right here and we'll take it from there. Okay, this is a bad sign. You have no power going through the CD board. And I can see why this ribbon here is not fully seated. Right on. You can see the pickup lens bouncing. Let's put in the original CD board. that this is not spinning. Okay, I'm back from my trip so I can finally finish off this repair. As you saw in episode 25, a bouncing laser with the CD not spinning is more than likely is gonna be a dead laser, but there is a distinct possibility that the spindle motor could be bad. So what we can do is test out the spindle motor. The way we can test if the spindle motor is not dead by using a AA battery Disconnect two wires to the ends of it and connect the wires to the solder joints for the spindle motor on the back side of the board. You can see here that the spindle tray is actually wobbling. And you can actually test that out with a disc. You can see the wobble there. Now we know that the spindle motor is good. Um, we can rule that out and we can go ahead and replace the laser pickup. There could be some other issues besides the laser pickup, but at this point, there's a high percentage is gonna be the laser pickup.
I've already removed the solder joint. Okay, let's give this a shot, see if this works. Oops. See, it's wobbling and it's going to be hitting the CD drive cover. The way you can raise the spindle uh, tray is to use some long wood pliers, put it right underneath and um, let's use this as a lever. You can see how bad it wobbles. So what we're gonna do, what we need to do is actually replace the spindle tray. These just came in today, um, which are replacement spindle hubs. Got these from eBay and I'll leave a link in the description below. These are actually described as PlayStation spindle hubs, so hopefully they fit. I bought a whole bunch just in case I need them later. And you can see they are shaped just a bit different. There's holes here. And again, what you want to do is move the laser back and just get some long nose pliers, put it right underneath the uh, spindle hub and use this as a lever. Okay, it looks like it's sized pretty good. Let's compare it with the original Saturn one. Size-wise, they're about the same, but you can see here, PlayStation one does not have the long shaft like that. Whoops, looks like you need a spindle hub with the long shaft. Otherwise, it's just gonna be uh, too short for the Saturn. Shit. Oh! Looks like it's back to eBay. Okay, I've searched, searched, and searched. I can't find a spindle tray that has this long shaft here. So what we're gonna do is do the next best thing, which is to make one. It's gonna glue two of these together. And you can see here, this PS1 replacement spindle tray is actually metal uh, compared to the plastic spindle tray for the uh, um, Saturn. What we're gonna do is sand the bottom of these um, spindle trays. Hmm, this is actually not metal, but it looks like some form of barbin. It's actually sticking on the um, on a magnet here. It's gonna sand down the other one just a bit, so the um, epoxy will have some bite. Before we apply the epoxy, we need to clean the surface off with some alcohol. Then what we're gonna be using is some JB Weld. And then first we're gonna put one of these uh, spindle trays down. See here, I'm pushing it almost fully down and we'll apply some of this epoxy on there. And we'll put the other one right over the top. And I'm gonna squeeze them together. And we're gonna let this dry for about uh, 24 hours to let it fully cure. Okay, while we wait for the um, spindle uh, tray to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, repair this upper cover and do some cleaning. Luckily, I was able to find uh, the replacement parts for these, um, or this one broken piece. And it looks like this is the part we need here, and obviously the spring. Okay, here's the various boards with their part numbers. There's the power board. Um, this one was manufactured in uh, 13196. Here's the part number. Here's the CD drive unit. Here's the controller port board. And here's the main board. This one is a VASD. Okay, it's impossible to see, but the shaft is actually bent. So I'm gonna replace the whole spindle motor.
You can see the removed uh, spindle motor is an RF-310 Tango-11400. Luckily, from my previous Saturn repair for the Sanyo Saturn, I bought this uh, whole sled assembly for the um, laser pickup. It came with the same motor. I'm gonna pull off this motor, and you can see the shaft length is the same. This is a 22 millimeter. And we're just gonna be using this motor from the Sanyo Saturn repair that I did previously. Okay, the JB weld should be uh, sufficiently dried now. It's been more than 24 hours and we're gonna take off the spindle tray. Again, be very careful in removing the tray. You don't want to bend the spindle shaft on the motor. Just to show you guys again how low a single one sits. I'm not even gonna push this fully down. And you can see here how low that sits. Okay, after a couple minutes testing, the laser pickup started bugging out. But what starts happening is if you glue it together, the bottom portion of the spindle tray will um, hit against the um, laser pickup when the pickup uh, goes to orient itself when it goes all the way forward. So you're going to have to shave the bottom portion. It's going to take about, probably about five minutes to actually carve this out with the exacto. You can trace it here with an exact one but again the pickup was actually hitting the bottom portion of the uh, spindle tray so I got that cut out let's go ahead and retest by the way uh, what the laser pickup is not gonna hit when it was hitting the bottom portion of the spindle tray is the limit switch here so that small white thing right there See the late uh, this is spinning uh, pretty wobble free. Okay, looks like all the problems are taken care of. Awesome. Okay, we finally got this one done. And then the initial problems was the door wasn't opening, also the laser pickup was broken, and also the spindle motor shaft was bent. And finally the spindle tray was actually completely busted. So it looks like we got everything um, fixed. And a couple more of these to go from the lot. So I'll see you guys next time.